Hey everybody, um, let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. So I'm minding my business and I want to go get something to eat with one of my homegirls. Okay, fine. Mind you, everybody knows I'm deployed, okay? I'm deployed. This happened yesterday. I'm deployed. So I'm walking in the desert. I look a hot trot mess. I have on this pink shirt that I always wear after work. And I have on these dingy sweatpants that have um, pen stains on it. Alright, fine. No issue because I, I have nobody to impress. I eat. I have nobody to impress. I eat. I eat. Anyway, so to make a long story short, you know, my hair was up in a ponytail. I'm just gum. Just gum. Just gum. So, somebody's about to interrupt my video. I feel it. Okay. Alright, so, um, <laughs> we go to get something to eat or whatever, and this dude, right? I see this dude. I looked at him because that's what you do. You look at people. So I looked at him and kept the movie. He had the nurse to come up to me and my homegirl and start trying to kick up the game. I almost lost my mind. And this is why I look almost lost my mind. Because I wear a ring. And I'm so sick of people trying to hit on me. Like, I, I, you clearly see I wear a ring. And in the military, when you're trying to hit on somebody, the first thing you do is look at their hands. Because nine times out of ten, they're married. So what I do when I was single, I used to look at their hand to see if they have a ring, you know. But I'm pretty sure people can see it. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but you can see it. So after I told the dude I was married, he had the nerve to tell me I should get a bigger ring. <laughs> the devil is a liar from the pits of hell. Let me say something else. Not only was I flabbergasted at the fact that he had the nerve to tell me I should get a bigger ring, he then started to tell me that his parents was AKA like the old um what is it called? Black Panther. Okay, now you wanna squirt um, you know, throw this Black Panther stuff at me and tell me I need to get a bigger ring. When are we gonna end the conversation? So I'm not trying to be a rude person because you know that I'm working on my appeal to people so I'm trying to be nice so you know I'm sitting there listening but I'm really not listening and I'm just thinking to myself it's mad cold number one number two it's about nine o'clock I need to call my boo and I need to go to bed so I'm just standing there listening to what this dude has to say and then I said you know what if I see you tomorrow let's pick up where we left off and then he had the nerve to say you'll never see me wait what he said he said um you don't have to worry about me talking to you again. I don't talk to married people. And I walked away. Oh. My. God. <laughs> now that's how random people are in the military. They're just too damn random. So, um, what else? I'm trying to see anything else that happened to me that's kind of interesting to talk about. Hmm. I have a whole bunch of interesting stories. You just got to be there, you know? Because it's not one of those things where you can record. And especially, I can't go in the way I want to go in. Because these people may listen. And then, a whole big drama. Oh, who else? Star Rivera. Fighter Rivera. Put my business out there. And then, drama starts. Because, boy, do I have some things to say. Uh, let me see. I'm supposed to be back in America in a few weeks. I cannot wait for that. My videos will be way better once I get back. Because my husband, I wrote to my husband, he has to record me. And he has a nurse to tell me, oh, he don't want to record me. I'm like, Auntie, somebody about to mess up my video. I got to go. Stupid.